Chelsea lose game two of our tour of Singapore by three goals to two against Bayern Munich. So I'm going to start with the starting lineup. Obviously, no Pedro from the last game as he was sent home because he had fractured bones in his face. Kennedy was also sent home for his social media discrepancies. And Boga got his chance in the first team finally. Uh, yes, he came on for Pedro last week, but today he played again. I'm Speaking of today, a 3-2 defeat to Bayern Munich, as I already said. First 20 minutes, we were quite lacklustre, uh, but Bayern were classed well. I'm not taking any way, anything away from Bayern. Bayern were really, really good. And I think if you take this first half performance, which was quite poor, to the second half performance, where we came on strong, we didn't concede, we scored ourselves. So we basically won the second half, right? If you want to look at it that way. I think Antonio Conte, in that first water break, in the first half, he, can, he changed the tactics around. He told the players to play it different ways and get at them a bit quicker and, you know, play the ball earlier. Because it was sometimes we were just holding on to the ball for too long. We weren't releasing it quicker. And I think once Antonio Conte got his message across to the whole squad, we really changed our performances around. First goal of Bayern Munich scored from Sir Rafinha. I thought it was quite poor in Thibaut Courtois' point of view. It was just a pot shot from a, quite a while out. And Rafinha scored, and that really set the tail of what was to come. In the net for the next goal, Ribery was unbelievable, like O M G, like legendary, like wait for it, legendary. He was incredible. He basically destroyed the hand, our left hand side, tripped it into Muller, and Muller with the volley smashed it in for two 0 And the third goal, Thomas Muller. My God, once again, um, basically, it was a two, kind of a, a bit of a 2v2 situation. Our two centre-backs were here. Tom, uh, like Lewandowski was kind of here, and then Le Muller was behind. And Muller just curls it in from long range, past Stephen Courtois to make the 3-0. And I really was fearing the worst. Then, as I said, that aforementioned water break completely changed us around. Antonio Conte got new tactics across, got chances to play a different way. And we did pull one back before halftime. A lovely strike from Marcus Alonso. And I really thought the game was on. Second half was much better from Chelsea. And I think pre-season. I think that was a more of a pre-season game than the Arsenal one was. Because it was too easy for us. As an Arsenal didn't create enough. And we, we were kind of left to, you know, feel like we played well. And yes, we did. But we didn't play up to maybe our 100%. And in this game... It forced Conte to maybe rethink his tactics and rethink his plan for the game. And I think that's why it was better for our pre-season preparation, especially going into a season where we're now fighting on four fronts instead of just the, th the three with the pre with the Champions League added to the Premier League, FA Cup and League Cup. So we have a lot more games this year. And a game like that in pre-season shows Antonio Conte still has a lot to work on. In the second half, played well. We did manage to get a second goal towards the end, Michi Bishwai, but it was terrible, terrible marking from the corner Bayern Munich had. And I really thought Mats, Mats Hummel should have done better, but didn't, and we finished it off well. Victor Moses has, needs a special mention as well, really came on strong towards the second half. He was actually dominating that left-hand side, right, until Felix Gusta came on. That guy was unbelievable. Like, there were three Bayern players I picked out today. They were at the top of the game. Felix Gutze, who was only on for 10-15 minutes and played out of his skin. Renato Sanchez. That is why I got you on the back of my Bayern Munich jersey. You played stunning today. Unfortunately, it was again, had to be against Chelsea. And Frank Verbrien, who's like a fine wine, getting better with age. All in all, Marata did come on as well. And played a bit of a party. Looked a bit tired, if I'm honest. But obviously, that'll come with... Uh, fitness and playing games because I'm pretty sure while he was Real, Real Madrid he didn't play a lot as in like in pre-season and he was only getting back into the training session so he has to get match fit first whether a lot of the lads have already played two games if you want to include the Fulham game as well so they've already had it and it's a different climate as well and a lot have been out there a week and Marat has only come in so he has to get adapt to that as well and I think that's why you have to you know ease him into something like this that's why he only came on in the second half instead of starting uh, Tamore came on as well and I think um, I, I have high prospects for him he was a part of the World Cup winning squad for England I think the under 21 that is Lewis Baker also came on and made a bit of an impact I was disappointed with the defence today actually 
I was hoping Andres Christian would have a bit of a dominant performance, but he didn't in the end, unfortunately. And I don't know what that means for him. He still needs to get more of a chance, I think. Same with Thomas Callas. I don't even recall Thomas Callas coming on to do it, coming on at all today, which is really disappointing because if you're not going to use him, just set. I think at this point, sell him because it's 13 14. He played on a Mourinho, then he was shipped out on loan, shipped out on loan again, shipped out on loan last year to Fulham. If he's not a part of the plans, I think Thomas Carlos needs to be sold. And I think we could potentially get 10 to 15 million for him because I do believe he's a highly rated player and we'll probably make it one day. Uh, probably, not a, probably not a Chelsea if Antonio Conte doesn't give him more of a chance, but he will make it somewhere and somehow. Sure, he had a class season at Fulham last year. Um, other than that, I feel that there is a lot of positives take it and there's also a lot of negatives to take from this Bayern Munich game after, especially after those first 15-20 20 minutes we didn't look great Bayern on fire but Antonio Conte knows what he's doing changed the tactics around and we I don't I don't know if we deserve to you know take the game to a draw and penalties but we definitely played a lot better than we did and the result reflects on the poor performance of the first half but the second half performance if you looked at that 3-2 you would have said you wouldn't have known like what what happened you would have just saw the result but second half performance was really strong and um i was much prouder it was you, you could literally see the two sides of the coin of pre-season in that game our first half was shambolic was shambolic we didn't really obviously i'm not taking away from anything by me but we were tactically in, inadequate because we were beaten on the counter so many times Ribery and um, Hamas Rodriguez had a lot of chances but in the second half we turned that around a bit more and looked better looked more equipped for when they were coming on the counter attack and we looked better going forward that was my thoughts on Chelsea's 3-2 defeat to Bayern Munich in our pre-season tour of Asia guys leave your thoughts down below on how you think the game went give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time